Hello everyone! I greet you here on my YouTube channel. I am Chika Chika, a passionate traveler who wants to travel the world and visit every single country while doing the regular stuff of studying university and working. Today I would like to share with you something I personally struggle with or what is going on in my mind. As I am finishing the university, I am currently in my last semester of the Erasmus Mundus program, the best program in the world which allows me to study and live in three different countries around Europe while getting scholarship and sustaining all my living expenses. Today I would like to talk about something which is, in my opinion, even more important than the thesis itself. And that is how to transit, how to transfer from the full-time student to the adult life. First of all, I would like to tell you why it's actually so beneficial to be a student and why we should appreciate the opportunity to be full-time students. Uh, at least in my country, I am uh, free from the tax breaks, meaning that I can work as a freelancer and to a certain amount of money, earnings, I don't have to tax it. Uh, I am also... Um, the Erasmus Mundus also cover your uh, insurance, your travel insurance or whatever happens to you during the studies. And also in my country, I don't have to pay the social and health insurance in general. You have a lot of uh, discounts on travels, also on the bookings and in general, you can get way lower prices for the entrance and for basically everything. You have also the opportunity to, to take part in a lot of internships so you can try here and there. Uh, what would you like to do and what you don't want to do. So being a student for me is really a time where you can just do that and that with minimum costs. Uh, but uh, sooner or later we have to finish this st study life and we have to go to the different phase of our life. If you're a student and you get the opportunity to travel, to meet the people, to network, to take part in a lot of projects, Going into adulthood might seem really scary and I guess, I mean, it is scary at one point but I believe if you follow these 10 steps which I'm sharing with you that you will transit into adulthood, kind of, I always say adulthood but you know what I mean you will transit the period after college way more happy with much more excitement and I believe that you will have so many amazing opportunities after the college or even during the college and after the college that you will be really excited to actually finish finally and be ready for the career. So the tip number one, I guess it's the most important one, how to prepare your life after college is to invest in yourself. And now I mean in it two ways. Firstly, it's the time. Invest in yourself, invest in your hobbies, uh, discover what you like. If you like something, dedicate the time to it because very likely when you start working, you won't have so much time to do that. Um, so dedicate the time to your hobbies and dedicate the time to develop some new skills. Now there is the time just to do it for fun, but maybe at one point you will be very happy that you've dedicated this time to learn something valuable in the future. The second point in investing in yourself, I guess is very, very important as well. It's investing in courses. Now I know that you're learning a lot at school, that you have a lot of assignments and essays and projects, but I am a big fan of diversifying and I guess it's not a good idea to rely just on the university unless you study something very, very time consuming and you, you dedicate 100% of time to university. But I still think it's very important to learn something in different fields. Now you have uh, the many opportunities from the universities to take some courses about languages, foreign languages, or coding or graphic design, anything. You can also go to Skillshare or Coursera, which have uh, very, very affordable courses as well. And yeah, I personally uh, invested in two courses uh, recently or basically last year. One of them was the photography course where I wanted to learn how to use my camera much more and how to do photography and cinematography uh, better even though it's not my full-time job but thanks to this uh, course i was able to actually get some money back 
so it was really an investment because quite fast I got the money back for some paid gigs and the second course I paid was recent as well and it was about a real uh, estate investments which again as I am mentioning the diversifying the skills and the knowledge and also the future income streams so those are two courses I've invested recently and I would definitely recommend doing it as well second tip how to prepare your life after your university is to work or freelance or intern while you're studying this is kind of similar as dedicating your time to your hobbies but this is also more about the professional side so you have something in your cv you have some practical knowledge while you're studying i know even though if you're having the best diploma from the best university around the world and you don't have any practical experience then you're just putting yourself in harder position so i really recommend taking some internship now when everything is online you can intern everywhere around the world you don't have to intern full-time not even part-time but few hours a week i guess it's very very important not only to earn some money but also to realize what you really like what are your strong uh, skills what are your strengths what are your strengths and what are your not big strengths <laughs> And this is the third point I am really, really emphasizing, and it's to invest and save money. I know that when you're a student, then it's really difficult to save up some money because you don't have a every month income unless you are given some scholarship. But uh, even with the scholarship, you might have uh, big expenses like living in Sweden or in other expensive countries. But I guess it doesn't matter how much you get but you should always save up at least 10% of your, of your uh, monthly income or whatever you have. This is very important for the budgeting. And also I see when you finish university, it's very likely that you're not going to find a job right away because maybe you're focusing on your thesis or you're focusing on your final exams. So you don't even have time and energy to save uh, to, to go to interviews and searching for a job. So there is possibility that you will be one month, two months, three months without a job. And therefore it's really, really important that you have some money from you, which you can live during this period until you find a job. And also it will allow you to not get the, to uh, accept the first job opportunity you will have. So really, really, Try to start investing and saving up your money uh, as soon as possible. We all have heard probably about the compound interest. As soon as you start saving and as soon as you start investing, then it has this compound effect. Uh, but at the beginning, at least try to save some money for the harder times. You will thank yourself so much later. The fourth thing which is very very important how to prepare your life after the university is already investing your time and energy into meaningful connections and expanding your network. Uh, the, the network is very important for expanding your mindset but also when you're going to uh, serve for a job or you're going to build some project or you're going to do some business then having skillful contacts it's really really helpful and it can boost it can accelerate your opportunities much much more also if you invest the time into the people during your university it will really pay off because after you finish university you either start working or people start working and you won't have so much time to nourish their contacts and very likely the network you had during the university and you didn't invest so much time in will just fade away therefore if you don't want to lose those contacts and you want to stay in touch try to nourish those contacts or during the university and expand the network how to expand the network i really recommend taking part in the student projects students unions going to conferences as well in sweden i took part in the venture lab which was incubator for startups which has brought me very very uh, valuable experience as well so Anything you're doing, try to also think about the contacts and the network you're building around, around yourself. Also, the university is really the best time to network because uh, you have a high concentration of very skillful, very smart people at one place. You can take part in the union for free or for very small. For free or for very small fee. <laughs> the fifth 
tip of mine is to make better your interview and pitching skills. What I what do I mean by that? That uh, when you're gonna finish your university, you're very likely going through many interviews and therefore what I do already now, I am applying for jobs which I know that I cannot accept but I'm going through this interview process which helps me to better understand what kind of questions they ask me, what kind of reactions they expect from me and if I am rejected, I am not as sad because I know I could not uh, take part in this opportunity but if they accept me, it gives me kind of feeling, the kind of better feeling that I am competitive on the market. If you're going to participate in one interview or if it's gonna be your 50th interview, then very likely you're going to be much more chill and I believe that uh, the chill behavior, it's, oh, <laughs> the chill behavior, it's very, very much appreciated doing the interviews. Of course, you need to show also your skills, but I, I, I recommend doing this at least to learn how to sell yourself, how to sell your skills and so on. So if you have a little time and if you found some like dream positions, go for it. And if you cannot take it, then maybe they will save your contact and you can contact them after you're done with the university. Another point which I believe it's important, depends on the program you are, but uh, creating your social media platforms or creating your portfolio. Now, of course, depends what program you're doing, but I believe that if you create some uh, professional social media presence or you create a beautiful portfolio showing showcasing your uh, skills and products, then it will be a really good starting point uh, after the university. You can send out those uh, portfolios or you can co co start connecting via LinkedIn uh, already during your studies, uh, which again will make the transition after university much more smoother because you will be already in the minds of the people. You are not going to start from zero and this is not going to take so much time. Also, I participated in a workshop which was uh, explaining the, the management and the logic behind the LinkedIn and they were saying that it's very beneficial to be active on LinkedIn every single day and creating a post, educating your audience or educating your peers. So this might be also an option that uh, in the last semester, if you have a few uh, free minutes per minutes, then you can dedicate your time sharing your thoughts about some topics you're familiar with, like your study course or your master thesis or anything what uh, interests you and you would, you would like to share with others. The seventh tip is to establish healthy habits. It's very, very important to already establish healthy habits while you have time because then when you are doing your career, you will very likely have much less time and having healthy habits, it's very important, not also on, only for your productivity, but also for your health and also for the positive mindset and for better performance during your work. Whatever you're doing, if you're employed, if you're entrepreneur, then even more, but establishing healthy habits will really pay off. Maybe you're not going to realize it now in your 20s or in your 30s, but when you're going to turn 50, then you will thank yourself that you were so smart and established some healthy habits. What I mean by healthy habits, it's sleeping enough, drinking enough water, uh, doing enough exercise and all of those stuff. I guess you guys know what like the basic uh, healthy habits are. The eighth point is learn how to be organized. Again, because you are having much more time during your university than after university, you have less time and all the mistakes, all this mess around you will multiplicate. Therefore, having organized your files, having organized your room, having organized your thoughts, <laughs> everything is gonna help you after the university because after university you will have maybe less time to, to do those things and coming home after the job when you're exhausted coming to tidy room and tidy apartment will make your mood much more nicer and your your energy will be just way way more positive and because the energy will be much more limited when you're working it's very important to take care of it 
The ninth point, what to do in your last semester or what do you do before you finish the university is to think and reflect about your dream job, about your dream position and the skills you need and which require for your dream position. Now, I'm super sure that few of us know exactly what we want to do after the university, but I guess the more time we dedicate to what we really want to do during the university, the easier it will be. Like I'm not saying it's gonna be forever the same and I'm also saying I'm struggling a lot with what I'm gonna do but I want to tell you that it's completely normal but it's still necessary to question yourself, ask yourself what, what do I wanna do? Like where I see myself in 10, 20, 30 years? I also want to tell you that it's completely normal that if you're studying a program and you no longer see sense or you can no longer see yourself doing the same thing as you what you've studied that's completely normal but if you have done it so far it's very important to finish your university and also doing some university program it's not going to say what you're going to do for the rest of your life most of the time university is just some tool which shows others like that you're smart enough to uh, think com in complex way that you're able to go through the university system and yeah that's what i want to say and the last thing is be patient and try to learn be patient already during the university I'm sure that through this endless assignments and projects we've already learned to be patient but I guess that's something what we're, especially in my age, we're missing to you that we always want everything uh, instantly this instant gratification is very common for our generation and therefore I guess it's very important to realize that patient is a key and it's a key for you to achieve your dreams, achieve your goals that if you're done with the university and your first job is not your dream job then it's completely fine but just reflect on yourself if this job is going to bring you closer to your dream job I guess it doesn't matter where you are but as long as you're moving forward that's all what it matters guys thank you so much for watching this video I wish you amazing amazing day and week and see you in the next video guys bye bye